Hello YouTube. In this video I want to show the whole setup of the CAN gauge micro and the CAN V gauge. This is the first time I said it, right? Anyway, uh, this was my simulator code and I did test all the codes on this. Here I want to show you the NeoPixels real quick with the dimming feature. You will have a separate wire that you can connect to 12 volt and to the light or uh, interior light, whichever you will prefer. And it will dim the neopixels because like this, they are beautiful during the day, but way bright in the night. So you will be able to dim them like you see here. Right now I'm doing it with a switch high-low. So this was that and I now move this a little out of the way and uh, this is the OBD plug that I'm using currently which has a regular USB plug on the other side. I did it this way because I kept this plugged in in the car and had the gauges with USB cables attached so I can try them faster and easier in the car. Same goes for the can gauge micro as you see here. And then I wanted to test some other things so I made this. Uh, after frying this uh, USB hub on here because this runs on obviously 12 volt and USB hub can only take 5 volt or maybe 6. So after frying this I took out the chip and made it into a USB hub without electronics just in uh, connected in parallel. So I can show you how many gauges or what else you can do with the V gauge. So this I'm plugging into my simulator. I did plug it into my car like this and then attach the gauges here. And I will make a video of that as well in the car but I'm waiting for something else before that so I wanted to show it to you here so here I have the hub I move this again a little out of the way and this is the can V gauge with the paper front at the moment I do have the carbon fibers on the way they are shipped, I just don't know how long it will take. So if I plug this in, you can see it does work obviously on the simulator right now, I'm at home. So this is gauge number one. And as you can see, because my car does not have an oil temperature, you see the oil temperature at zero here. So since I do want oil temperature, I have this here. This is a canvas note, uh, of course it's just it's not going to look like this, but just for testing purposes and I attached also a USB plug on this and this simulates the oil temperature sensor, which can be these guys. These are very very inexpensive and uh, I will mount this into my car obviously and connect it to here and this gets connected to the CAN bus of the car. And it will show here, which I'm doing right now by plugging it here. And you immediately see this is, of course, a simulator right now. There is no temperature gauge attached yet. And it's just running the simulator code, but you see it working here. And I did try this setup right in my car before I taking, making this video. And it works. Although this transmit on the regular oil temperature PID. It does not interfere with the car, as my car doesn't have it. Of course, it would if if it would have it, then it would uh, I don't know uh, get confused on which one to show. But since it does not, it shows this one, and this goes over the canvas again. And uh, to make it even more, I can connect my can gauge micro. To the setup as well plugging it in here 
and you see this one is working too and including all other codes and uh, RPM and speed is still simulated by the potentiometer on my simulator let me move it over here you see it here and uh, I can adjust the speed here so you can have multiple gauges on this and uh, even simulator or CAN bus nodes as I will call it don't know a better name for it and all of this works and a uh, hard time hitting the gauge here through the looking at it the right through the phone and all these codes work of course I showed you before and uh, this is it the next video I will make I will try to show it in the car but I will wait till I get the carbon fiber front and I because this will I will install in my car myself so till then uh, this will be probably the last video unless I come up with other code enhancements but this is it this is the follow-up product that I will make as soon as I can finance it uh, still no word on crowdfunding I think it's been almost two weeks now I'm still waiting so I don't know why it's taking them so long but anyhow this will be the canvas node of course it will be not only for oil temperature but it will have several inputs uh, I don't know up to 10 or more uh, where you can connect uh, temperature sensors uh, RPM signals speed signals whatever you need to make a non canvas car work on canvas or you can extend it if you have one sensor missing for example I also don't have oil pressure so I could add that as well and uh, so this is a future project I mean it's, it can look like this even though I could print a frame around it but it still needs other features so this is my setup for now and as you see it works over USB right now of course it's not USB it's just a connection is USB I can take this out and plug it in directly obviously here and the gauge works so this is it uh, I just wish that uh, all the people who promised to buy it would really buy it because so far I sold none zero and uh, it is what it is uh, at least I will have a nice can gauge in my car and if anybody else wants it uh, the can gauge micro is on sale on Tindy right now these I can make the V gauge will be made to order because I cannot afford to put more money into parts and then have them lay around I will also actually make a video and show you all the previous V gauge parts and PCBs that I have piling up so but that was maybe my fault I mean it did evolve before it got released from an analog version to the CAN bus version and I'm glad I did it that way because as you see it is a thin wire to connect before it would have been a thick uh, cable which I did use a HDMI cable because it already comes with plugs and you can get sockets for it but uh, it just didn't work I will also just one second as this was the shape of the V gauge of the original V gauge I will make this into this because 
for the car it will be like this but for to be used on bikes or any other vehicle that's um, out in the open because I have a ready designed 3d printed gate uh, case for it and a closure I have a gorilla glass for it already made and I ordered them already so for a motorcycle it will have this shape but the electronics will be different it will be this one and this was based on 0 0.96 OLED displays and I will use 1.3 like this on the V gauge on the current new V gauge uh, as you might know the there are also neopixels up here and uh, anyway and the mounting will be this way so you can use any GoPro type uh, mount to mount this on your motorcycle and I actually put away all the 3d printed parts and the Gorilla Glass I have to dig them up again because uh, I was gonna make this also with the Gorilla Glass but uh, why spend more money if I have Gorilla Glass already and this is also a nice shape I like this as much as this one and um, that was it because I have one uh, person asking me for the motorcycle but even if he doesn't buy it I will use it on my Street Fighter bike project that I have going on for the past two years and um, that will be it so worst comes worst I will use it myself and uh, I am also at the same time looking for another job because uh, this on this one I cannot live anymore anyhow this was it uh, if you want to support me there are links on the in the description of the video you could buy me a cup of coffee or send me any other tip or take a look at my Tindy store. Maybe you find something you like. And if you think you know somebody who would be interested in this, please uh, send them the link. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, right now, as I said, I'm waiting on the carbon fiber for the can V gauge. I also inquired about red carbon fiber and silver because my car interior is silver and it would I think look nice and it's always nice if you get a contrast like on here for example with the white and black and of course it's a matter of taste but uh, I do like to have contrast and with the red it would be really nice because the carbon fiber will really pop out on the red as well on the silver because on the black it kind of gets a little lost uh, this is the matte side I also have these in uh, the other side is shiny as you see here but it does of course reflect light and anything else so I like to use matte but if you want if you're ordering it you can choose if you want it matte or glossy so this is it uh, oh okay one more thing I forgot to mention the OBD port in the car has the 12 volt connected constantly to power so it's always powered on and since you don't want to leave this powered on in your car I will have a wire coming out here out of the plug which you can connect to a switch 12 volt and same goes for the dimming feature of the NeoPixel obviously because that is not on the OBD port itself either and um, so you have two wires coming out of the side of the plug which you can use for the dimming of the NeoPixel and for turning on off the gauge itself so that's another thing I have to do it's too bad they could have have here I mean there's enough pins left over they could have a constant and a switched power so that would have made my life easier and yours too but other than that it's plug and play obviously as you see it supports all cars sold in the US uh, after 2008 some cars as early as 2005 as my car for example Chrysler 300C uh, it's the European version uh, of the 
Mm. Uh, how do you say it again? I forgot. The combi, not combi. In America, you don't say combi. Uh, I'm lost. Anyway, it's the five door version, not the four door. Touring, I think, yes. It's called Touring. And I know that the Chrysler's Touring sold in America look like the Dodge Chargers in the front. Mine looks like a Chrysler 300C. So, anyway. Uh, I might show you the car when I make the next video with the can gauge installed in the car and um, I as always probably forgetting something else to say so I will say that in the next video thanks again for all the support I got so far uh, every little helps you wouldn't believe it and um, thanks for watching and take care everybody